Hey guys, it's SFP here and welcome to episode number 22 of my FIFA 16 film career mode. And I do apologize for kind of stuttering or pausing a little bit there. I, for some reason, forgot that we are actually on episode 22, guys. And again, I'm kind of doing this new format for the while. I'm going to try it out for this week to try to put in two videos and hopefully make it somewhere between 15 minutes to 20 minutes. Now... Uh, someone did bring it up to my attention, and I believe it was Miguel. Miguel, uh, thanks for giving me that, uh, your input, dude. Uh, he actually considered, uh, maybe 12 minutes or less to be the goal that I'm trying to go for, and so I figure, uh, I'll hear him out, you know, because I've always wanted to make these videos a little bit shorter because of my previous ones, they've been a little bit longer. And so far, I've been successful with my one game per video. Uh, at least that format, the way I have it set up previously, that usually gets me under the 10 minute mark and that was my goal. However, I'm trying to pick up the pace here because we are barely approaching the winter transfer window as we see here. Uh, we actually start off very quickly against Ipswich Town. And like I was saying, well, we have here our first opportunity for Dembele, probably goes for the shot. And the goalkeeper saves it awkwardly, but a save is a save. Anyways, um, since I do pre-record these, I already have, uh, I've already edited all the videos for this week. I'm just uh, needing to basically do my voiceover on each one of them. So, unfortunately, for those of you guys who have been looking for shorter episodes, uh, just bear with me here, at least in this experiment that I'm doing right now. This will be the longest episode of this week, though. I do promise you guys that. But anyways, like I was saying before, uh, that is my goal. So for the next ones coming up, which would be the Barcelona career mode, uh, I'll probably have those go back to my regular format of one minute. Excuse me, not one minute, but one game per episode. And anyways, guys, uh, let's focus here back on the game, and I'll probably make a couple of announcements uh, during the next game here. But anyways, we have here Pringle, who Pringle has actually been very impressive as of late. As we can see here, he cuts back both his defenders. He goes for the shot. And he nails it. And if you guys remember, we actually got a red card previous in a previous game last video. And so Pringle's actually uh, subbing in for him, so to speak. But so far, he's been a lot more impressive than his counter pack, which I believe was... Uh, the guy's name is escaping me right now. But he's been more... Pringle's been more impressive as of right now and as you can see here this guy the captain is obviously not happy about that and Ben Pringle gets his first goal of the championship today and here we have an opportunity for Ipswich Town and I actually make the first save and the rebound goes directly to that guy right there number 10 from Ipswich Town and I get punished for it now, in my defense, I've been taking advantage of my own rebounds, so it seems fitting that I concede a rebound every so often. And like we can see there, no one was... It, there was no way he was he was going to miss, guys. That was just an open goal and easy. Well, if he would have missed it, I would have been shocked. But as we can see here, the goal goes to make gold to Rick. Which is an interesting last name. I don't think I've ever seen him make a gold trick before. Here we have Dembele with his speed. He tries to beat his defender. He is not successful. And that is how this first half will end with a 1-0. Or excuse me, not a 1-0, but a 1-1 tie overall. And I'm going to make a couple changes here. Which I typically do. I'm always going to put Chris in there for O'Hara. And I think I'm going to put in Smith. Or Woodrow, excuse me. And the start of the second half commences. And now we see here, Ipswichan actually has the first look of the game. Brew actually finds someone open there, and I believe it was Nile or Niles. And it just goes over the post, which is very unfortunate. It was a good setup, a good play. The finishing just needed some work. And here we have Lundergan putting the ball back and play to Stearman. And here we have McGoldrick again, alone, and he misses. And this, my friends, is the difference between professional and world-class and definitely legendary. Had that been any of the two levels above, I'm pretty sure I would have been punished for it and we'd be 
down a goal in the end of the first half. And here we have what might be one of our last opportunities here with Christensen. He goes by. He makes a cut. He's all alone. He goes for the shot. And we actually get the goal here in the last minute of the game, guys. That is very impressive there from Christensen. And again, what a beauty of a goal. And I'm not even sure I even guessed the word. It was Christensen. Okay, I didn't look like an idiot there. I do apologize for that, guys. I'm still trying to get used to the team here. Uh, the names kind of elude me a little bit. But hopefully, I'm hoping by the end of the season I'll have them, uh, I'll have them all done. And it might be an interesting note to say that I actually considered being a teacher as a profession. And so maybe, just maybe, the fact that I can't memorize names that quickly is probably a good reason for me not becoming a teacher. Anyways, that is how this first game will end, guys. We actually got a victory away from home. And it's so good to finally get three points. Now, can we make it consistent? Can we make it two for two? In this episode, well, you guys will just have to see. And as you can see here, Brentford beat Bristol City. And there's other interesting uh, notes there as well. And here we're going to have the training simulation. Now, guys, remember, uh, if you guys want me to train anyone else, please let me know in the comment section down below. This is obviously not fixed. And so if you want to see someone else get uh, more uh, training, please just let me know in the comment section. I just like to have a nice balance because I, I know Dembele, I know Hinman. Maybe to some extent Christensen, they have a decent amount of potential. And so I want to get those guys going up. But I also want to make sure my younger, lower overall players get some training as well. Uh, and as we can see here, Middlesbrough is actually offering us a managerial role. And considering this is my first season with Fulham, I'm not going to take it. And just FYI, guys, um, this career mode and the Barcelona career mode, I don't foresee myself actually leaving Fulham uh, and that might come to a shock to some of you and some of you guys might be disappointed by that but I just kind of want to see how far I can make this team grow I'll probably pause within maybe the third or fourth uh, season here and see where you guys want to proceed whether or not you want me to continue as we show you here the squad report and by we I mean me of course uh, I'll probably pause it at some point in this series and basically let you guys decide whether or not you want me to continue doing this career mode or whether you want me to jump into something else and obviously I if you guys decide to pause it I'm not going to delete the file it's still going to be there uh, just in case you guys want to bring it back but that is way way into the future guys I'm, I'm not even sure um, I'm not even sure how far I'm going to get to be honest but we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get to it I guess and off screen I've actually been I've actually also been trying to sign up my players again because as I just mentioned previously we are getting close to the January transfer window and this is where I ask you guys please let me know which players you would like to see in the Fulham team I have a couple people in mind right now uh, but I want to keep that a secret so far here I guess I should tell you guys, guys about one player that I'm interested in bringing up, and that is the American Josh Gatt. He is a right winger, and I believe he plays in Mold or Molde. I'm not sure how you pronounce that team, uh, but I've been interested in bringing him into the fold. And here we see some players from our youth academy, or the the players I've been scouting. So far, none of it has been too much too impressive. The England uh, scout has been a little bit more successful, not as good as I would like, but. I'm just very, very picky, guys. For those of you guys who have been watching the episode, you guys know what I'm talking about. And for those of you guys who are new, I typically want to have my players somewhere between the uh, 90 through 90, maybe 92 would be the lowest, but 92 to 94 overall range. And I know that's probably a little bit unrealistic because not every, uh, not every youth player will be that successful. But I figured I might as well just save my money. And do that instead and save, speaking about saving money guys yesterday was the premiere of the new star wars the force awakens trailer and i know i'm going off topic but that's just kind of how i do these videos i'm going to have certain things that are off topic typically it will be music related i will obviously have some soccer news here and there but i just want to talk about 
the new Star Wars trailer, that was awesome. That trailer was so sick. I still think that the Batman v Superman trailer is better, and I know I might get some slack for it, but that's just my two cents. But still, it was very nostalgic. It gave me the feel of the original trilogy. Now, bear in mind, as great as this trailer is, so was the trailer for The Phantom Menace. And I actually have no uh, dilemma or problems with the uh, new trilogy. I know it's the prequel trilogy. I know it's, it's inferior. But I still enjoy it because that's kind of... Uh, that's kind of what my childhood was. I'm not based around because I actually did manage to watch the original trilogy before I watched the prequel trilogy. But that's kind of like my age range where I kind of started getting more involved with the Star Wars franchise. But enough about that, guys. Let's go back to the game as it just started. And we have Dembele with a great opportunity. And we waste it. We completely fuck it up. Which should be expected considering my aim is horrible. And here we have on the other side, a great opportunity here for Brentford. And it just goes slightly, just slightly over here. And we actually have Lewis here as our goalkeeper for this game. And here we have McCormick. McCormick actually goes by. He's going to go for the shot. Will this make it in? Yes, it will. And he curls it behind the goalkeeper. And that makes it 1-0. McCormick actually, I believe, has been stepping up as of late. I expected a lot more from McCormick. And he hasn't had the best of seasons so far but maybe this will be a new turning point for him and he'll actually be a little bit more prolific on the scoring side as Zambelli has kind of uh he's kind of uh what's the word I'm looking for he, he kind of had to deal with the pressure of basically being the only goal scorer here he's been so well this season and he just needs a little help guys he needs someone else to kind of sharing the burden which is the word I was looking for the burden of scoring the goals for our team and here we have Diogara who actually curls it very nicely and these are just one of those goals where I just can't get mad at it was just beautifully placed beautifully taken and while I'm bummed that I got tied on if that's even a right phrase uh, I think this was well deserved so far because I haven't been exactly the most dominating team. As we can see here, no one's applying pressure to him. He has all the time in the world, and obviously, with the amount of time he's getting, he's going to have a great shot. There's no pressure. And that was on my back line. They stepped back and kept stepping back. When the ideal thing would have been to step up and kind of put him in an uncomfortable position, but. That was my bad, ultimately, I guess. And Dayo Garuga gets the equalizing goal here in the 33rd minute. And then here we have O'Hara, who's going to go for the turn. He actually passes it to McCormick. And McCormick makes it 2-1, to one, guys. And I'm not as excited as I should have been because during the gameplay, I thought I was offsides. I'll be honest, I thought I was offsides. I think I barely was maybe a half step in line. And the play actually happened so fast that I couldn't exactly react to it. But nonetheless, the fact that I got the goal here makes me happy. And so far, keeps me in this job. Because, as you guys know, the FO wants me to get an automatic promotion spot. And I don't think that's going to happen. I'm hoping to get at least to the playoffs and then gain my promotion there. And here we have Dembele who cuts. He's so amazing, Dembele. He goes for the shot and actually rebounds from a center back there from Brentford and as you can see on the replay I don't know if it was going in guys I think that even if that deflection didn't happen I think it was still gonna go out for a goal kick but here we have a corner kick for McCormick who has been stellar so far two goals in this game alone and it was a horrible horrible corner kick there guys and now we're going to make a second attempt here. Will we get a better one here? And at least, at least Stearman gets ahead to it, but not on frame. And that is how the first half will end. A 2-1 victory that we have so far. It's better than the 1-1 tie that we had against uh, the other team 
in this video, but at least it's an improvement. And here we have a couple changes that we're going to make. And I'm obviously going to put st the, the, the subs are going to be the same, guys. And I know that's a little bit of a tactic, but I'm vying for promotion, so I'm just going to do whatever I need to do uh, to win. And here we have O'Hara with a great cross here, and we get called for a penalty kick, guys. We get a penalty kick here. And it was a great play. I, I wanted the shot, to be honest, because McCormick, I think, would have been in a great position to do it. But I'll take the penalty kick as well. And here, McCormick, who is going to go for his hat trick, guys. Will he get it? And yes, he does, guys. He gets the hat trick. Hat trick hero here from McCormick. And I cannot be more happy for him. Because, like I said before, he's, the beginning of the season hasn't been treating him kindly. He hasn't been scoring at the rate I was hoping he would. And I think at some point he had some insecurities as well. Because, you know, when you check the squad report, sometimes the strikers who don't feel that they're, they're doing their job is a little insecure. And to be honest, I think that's one of the features that should change or, or be edited in the FIFA game. Because typically that only happens with strikers. Uh, for midfielders, it's insecurity because apparently uh, there's another player in his position that's vying for a spot. And while I understand that's a motivation to be insecure, I don't think that should be the only one. That should only be designated for midfielders or defenders. I don't think I've seen an insecure defender or an insecure goalkeeper. If you guys have seen in your gameplay an insecure goalkeeper or an insecure defender, please let me know in the comment section. And as I just say that, Maybe my whole back line's insecure right now because that was shitty defense and we just get scored on here and the deficit uh, gets diminished here as we have Reem very upset with that. But guys, please let me know because I've never ever seen an insecure defender or an insecure goalkeeper. And if you guys have... Uh, if you guys have pictures or screenshots, whatever, please send them to me. Uh, at my email, which is soccerfanperspective at gmail.com, or provide a link in the comment section down below as well, guys, because to be honest, I'd, I'd like to see it. I might even Google it after I finish this video because that would be amazing. And here you have McCormick with O'Hara, who has a great opportunity, and he just wastes it just ever so slightly. That could have been number four. And it would have been an assist for McCormick, who has already had a stellar game so far. That would have been the icing on the cake. Or I guess the cherry on top of the icing. Because I'm sure he already has the icing on the cake. Which would be the hat trick. So this would have been the cherry on top. And here a stupid foul that I just committed. It was unnecessary. Or I guess maybe it could maybe classify as tactical. Because he was kind of going for it. And I'm trying to defend my three points here guys. I know O'Hara is going to get the yellow card here. And you know what I'm going to go with tactical. I'm going to say that was a tactical foul there because that slows him down. That kind of slows the momentum or changes the momentum at least. And it breaks down the play that they could have accomplished here had I not done that. And here we have Tebar. Passes it, but he loses it to Dean. And this is how the game will end, guys. We get the 3-2 game, which was a pretty impressive game. And we get two games, or excuse me, two wins in this video, which is amazing. And we see here the results for the other games. And I didn't get a good look at it either, but it doesn't matter. Here we have a suspension that's over for Kearney. And I believe someone was happy that I gave him good playing time, which is great. And I will leave you guys with this, with the training simulation. Remember, if you guys want to see other players in the training simulation, please let me know in the comment section down below, guys. Follow me on Twitter at SFP Soccer Show. Follow me on Twitch at SFP Gaming. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button so you can stay updated. And I meant to say subscribe. I don't know what I said. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And remember to stay tuned for the next episode that will be up tomorrow. Peace out, guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed the new trailer for The Force Awakens. Peace.